Let's get this set up. There we go. Yes, sir. Welcome to Neo Mustang Channel. We are live and we are streaming. So we've got, we got some things to talk about. Let me know if you guys can hear me pretty well. Volume, video. Last week we had a little bit of an issue with uh, with the stream, and we had a little we we got cut off. So, what's up, broken tool? You guys hear me pretty well. guys hear me pretty well video is good thanks yeah the banner thing on my channel was was kind of a pita like because it's like so long so all i really did was i just repositioned one of my you know i just repositioned one of my pictures and it just made it look pretty cool i guess whatever It was a pita, that's for sure. I still haven't mastered the craft of uh, making banners, and I think I'm doing pretty good on the thumbnails, though. If you guys see the video thumbnails, I'm doing pretty good with that. Been doing a lot of work to the white car, <clears throat> insane amount, insane. Right now we've gotten to the point to where it sucks because the downpipe that I reordered from uh, from on three for the 351, like there's a gap right at the back where the uh, the exhaust housing meets the actual downpipe and is a is a gap. What's up, Jody? What's up, Mike? What do you have a question about push rods? First of all, what cylinder heads do you have? And is this a 302 or 351? So what's everybody else doing? Besides watching some of my lame videos, my progress video didn't was was not popular. <laughs> I got twice as many views on my windshield wiper fluid video than I did the progress of my white car, which is crazy. It's crazy. What's up, Dan? What's up, Rusted? 302 twisted wedge heads. Are they pedestal mount or are they uh, stud mount rockers? But anyways, I made that video Saturday because I'm like, I'm like, look, I need to show my, you know, I need to show my channel what I've done to my white car because I haven't vlogged any of it. And I was hoping to have it running by now, but I've just been so busy. And, I, you know, I've been messing around with dad's blue car, too. So, you know, I just wanted to go over the white car and show you guys. I mean, it's a, you'll see, if you watch that video, you'll see why I chose to go with that car because of the brakes and the axle. And it was just, a, it was just a, it's a no brainer. What's up, Chunk Back, Sean? But 91 Project Block Prime Sealed Roof Painted Engine Brackets and Maiden Voyage. So guess what I did today for four hours? If you're on my Instagram and or Facebook, I have finally got I, I did the one half of the bow spring video and I just remembered and reminded myself on how much that sucks putting bow spring in on, on cylinder heads while they're still in the car. 
number eight cylinder just hated me because you know because it's pointing towards the firewall <clears throat> and to get my my air hose to, to pressurize the cylinder to the back of the cylinder. It's just, everything's in the way. It's just hard to do the, the cranky thing. It's, I still got it though. I had the heads milled to 58 cc's. Okay. What else you got? What else everybody else doing? Got 23 people in here. Anything going on? Any mods? Like I said, I just did the I just did the valve cut or the valve spring video, the one half of it. I used a pump filter and adjusted push rod. Did you take the you, do yourself a favor and and like make a lifter? What's up, Justin? So Jody, make a lifter, like gut a lifter. And put pennies. Is it dimes or is it pennies? Stack dimes or take the plunger and shit out of it. Okay? There's a little clip on the top. Empty it. Put dimes or pennies in it. And then put the plunger's top back in it and then clip it back. Make a solid lifter. That's how you want to do push rod, bro. Like, you don't want to use a pumped up lifter at all because it's still going to, there's still a hundred thousands oil. And Mike's close. Will an on three wipe uh, wide pipe work with an on three? Uh, on three wide pipe from a 302 and an on three wide pipe from a 351 are the same thing, Kyle. Pretty sure. Bro, stick some ties up shoes, shoelace through the spark plug hole. Yeah, most of the stuff that I did with my on three exhaust, most of the stuff I did with my on three exhaust, I just custom fitted anyways. Right, but I think doesn't isn't there a pipe, Justin, that's three goes from three and a half to three? I don't think that they changed that. What's up, cousin Paul? With the with the weird creepy no, no avatar face looking guy with the skull, whatever. What's up, Adrenaline Cycle? Now you need to stop with that AOT madness. My 306 stock cam Explorer intake and GT40 head on three notch made 490. It's right. That's a little. That's a little uh, generous for for 10 pounds. But that's that's a good number though. That's close. 306 stock cam, Explorer intake, GT40 head. Did you put bow springs on those heads? Either way, check them with a $15 check and be saved. That's right. Junior Juvie, I picked up a Paxton supercharger. What's the, what's the most boost I can get out of it? I would just go six or eight. I mean, if you have head studs, you can climb a little bit, but consider the fact that superchargers up about eight, eight pounds, they're going to, they're going to start getting belt slippage, and it's pretty hard on your crank. What's up, Jay? What's up, Dom? So if I came up with 6750 with a solid lifter, no plunger movement. I have a checker push. Okay. I am about to install a transgo kit on my AOD. Anybody have thoughts on a carb conversion? Don't do it. So there, I hate saying it that. Carburetors work just fine because they're simple. If that's what you need to do and you're having problems with EFI, it's definitely a good thing to do. Hi, I'm new to the channel and I love the content. I appreciate that, Nos. Sean, my 306 170 old school F303 can made five. Wow. 18 pounds, bro. Woo! <laughs> nice. How is it going? Currently priming my 302 on the stand right now. Just got oil pressure using the drill switched and switched to the channel. Hey, so make sure that you primed it counterclockwise, right? Personally, I rebuilt a 302, got some 40 heads, 
I did do a poor man's valve job. There's nothing wrong with that poor man's valve job. I installed the trick flow valve spring kit. Okay, you're good. Got an NA306. I just put down 330. That's generous. When's your senior heads, though? Mm, that's, yeah, that's about right. Now, consider I run low 12s with my dad's car, and it only makes 300, 294. Unless you're starting with nothing, then stick with EFI. That's correct. Have you had best luck with an anti-roll bar? Man, I love anti-roll bar. I'm telling you, even for street driving, you go around a corner, your stuff doesn't do that body roll. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all go around a corner, your, mu your Mustang does this, and I'm not talking about your tires coming out from behind it. They roll. I think Brutal was just talking about that about three, four months ago. He talked about how tight that buddy's, that boy's uh, Cobra was, if you guys remember that. I mean, and he just like, you can tell when a Fox body's tight and when it's loose with all the polys and stuff. Found out Wednesday what mine would put down to the new Holly Terminator. I like to let us know, Dave. I listed my Z06 Corvette forum tonight. Time for another Mustang. That's what I'm talking about. Get out of here. <laughs> I added the welding subframes of mine. I ran one of my white car. I loved it. You talk about the Terminator X, Justin? You know you can make your own anti roll bar for like pretty cheap. I wish my I wish my dude Mike was here in the channel right now. Like he made an anti roll bar from hardware stuff at a hardware store for like forty bucks. And he is a good welder though, so I mean he put it all together himself. On the street, I'm gonna tell you what, anti roll bar, once you set that thing right, you ain't gotta worry about I mean you ain't got to worry about it no more. Makes the car go straight. It's safe. It's nice. 12 pounds. What do you shoot? What I'm shooting for? 12 pounds. What's your, hey, what's your combo again, Dave? Let me scroll up. I don't think you did. I don't think you shared it. I'm going to take a guess. So I did want to report to you guys. We have a new dyno. Um, we don't physically have the new rollers and eddy currents, but we have two eddy currents. But at TI Dyno, we did we uh, not we, but Kevin spent like thirteen thousand dollars on all new stuff. So I'm super excited to get over there and see what kind of numbers we can make on the dyno now. Not that it's going to change or anything, but it, it's nice to play with new stuff that's more accurate. Stock bottom end, dark one eighties. F303 ported intake will stock ECU work? Absolutely. Dude, I'm about to make I'm about to make a thousand crank on stock ECU. You'll see. Well, that's 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 being way generous. I'm gonna make 750 800 wheel in the white car with a stock A9L and a quarter horse. Watch. So yes, it'll handle it just fine, Sean. Adam, I Hi there, new to the channel. Question, I got an Explorer intake, GT40 heads, long tube headers. What should I invest in? Spring kit, which I'm doing right now. Rockers, 172 rockers, the Cobra knockoffs that they were back in 93. Uh, if you don't want to change cams yet, it's probably where I'd be headed. Because intake's covered. Throttle body, now you know you can take the Explorer, uh, the Explorer throttle body, and you can convert the Explorer throttle body to work on a Fox body. That's a mod, too. Sorry if it's normal. I have a little valve spring noise. Trust me, I beat down today catching the Dodds coming. So you got a little valve train spring noise, huh? It's 85 Stang, 1030, 138, blow through. Damn. Damn. They're 172. I thought the originals were 173, weren't they? I have trick flow valve spring kit brand new if anyone needs springs. I used Ford Racing. Time for a second, 10 second daily GT convertible. We will we will chat. Okay. Is the 95 Cobra R intake actually good or is it just eye candy? Oh. And don't mess with the Roush one either. If I remember correctly, the Roush one's that like this real big, like tubular looking thing. 
Can I install trick? Can I install the trick flow kit wrong? What do you mean? Like the spring kit? What's good, Parley? So anyways, last week was my birthday. Had a good birthday. Got to spend some time with my kids. I love my kids. Uh, obviously, I had to spend, got to spend some time with my Mustangs. Get caught up. Right now, I'm just getting all the dumb stuff done, finished up on the white car. Because I had to convert it to, to work with it. I have a trick lay about brand new and fitting. Okay. Use the little rod that comes with the kit. Yeah, the, the little rod measures out 1.8 inches. Like today on my E7 heads, I used uh, 20,000 shim on exhaust spring, and I used 40 thousandths, which is 220 stack on intake shim. So pretty cool. Just to give you guys a heads up. I have a Vortec V1 with a three inch pulley. Too small to run. I have a meth injection. I think three pulleys is good for like nine or 10 pounds. It's not a bad pulley to run, but send it. With meth injection, cools the charge. Dad's, Dad's E7 TE heads, adrenal cycle. I'm getting a whistling noise from my engine. What could it be? Probably your throttle body blade. If I remember correctly, David trick flow stage one heads with Edelbrock RPM manifold, upper lower on three sixty pound injectors, Anderson N forty one trick flow timing set six seven rod length stock. Hmm. That should make five hundred easy. Should I run a five three fifty four stroker with AFR one eighty five? Hmm. Gotcha. Maybe I need to revisit a couple of them. Yeah. So, double adjustable AFCO shocks rear, knowing a terrible bar. But, anyways, we got, uh, I got most of the white card done, as you've seen in the progress video, but I couldn't really do anything to it today because. We were messing around with dad's dad's uh, dad's spring kit because I'm trying to do this spring kit video. Um, we've been talking about like the car made, yeah, adrenaline cycle. So we got the new dyno stuff set in place, and what we did was is we took the we took dad's car over there. If you remember correctly from the video, I made 220 NA, and then I made 287 or 289 or something like that with the tur with the supercharger on it. So then what we did, what's up, Mike? So what we did was we actually went by those old calculations and said, well, if this reads this, then the dyno's right. So that's exactly what we did. Yeah, I'm going to run. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing I just did. I'm going to go over to the dyno. I'm going to go over to the dyno. I'm going to do an NA pull with the new spring kit. And then I'm going to do a, a, a supercharged video with the new, uh, or supercharged pull with the, uh, with the spring kit. What did I, what did you say, Dominic? Let me scroll back. It's 85 Sting best 1030. Is that what you're talking about? That's baller. Thanks for all the great, useful content you put out. Keep up the good work. We'll see you Wednesday at Thompson. All right, John. I should have dad's car out there and hopefully we'll be in the 11s, but we'll see what happens with the spring kit. The spring kit should make more power. We'll see how much. I mean, this is a really good thing to gauge and it's a really good thing to vlog because it's something that's going to be out there forever on my channel. Like, hey, if you put valve springs in your car, you know, you, you, it's just going to be better. Yeah, I put the 19s back in. Will you class race your white car like three pedal warrior stuff? Yeah, we actually have a three pedal showdown in, in Michigan and it's in Ohio too a little bit. It's getting bigger. It's getting to the point to where we have an 890 class and a 990 class. So I do a lot of stick shift racing. It's just this year everything got canceled. So 
I have a 93 coupe four cylinder engine is locked. It was sitting for a long time. Should I try to unlock it? V8 swap it. And thanks for the uh, super chat. The super, super chat eh, tips, Sirik. Yeah, definitely unlock the motor. Just get rid of that four cylinder, Sirik. I mean, if it's a coupe, is that what you said? Yeah, it's a coupe. Just, just get rid of the motor. Put a V8 in that thing. Now, listen. There's a lot of things in the V8 that you got to understand how to swap it. Like gas lines, brake lines, and stuff like that. I should probably do a video of it, but in due time, friends. Remember, if you need fuel, you can change the disc. And see, I don't think that I don't think that FMU is adjustable, Adrenal Cycle. Trying to get 14060s. Wait, you got all that power, Dominic, and it only goes and it doesn't go 140s? What kind of tire are you running? So even on the original ones, you can change the discs, you're telling me? Now I think I think Caleb at Foxcast did a four to a four to eight. I, 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 you know, I have to go back and watch his video again, but I think he covered most of it. It's awesome that you're so close to the eleven, but not so many parts. I mean, that's what I'm trying to do, Jay. I mean, I get a lot of comments where guys are like, you know, if you would just mass air convert it, which I've already done before in that car, um, if you would just put it on a data log and change the injectors and and, and, and and whatever, it's I'm trying to do something with a speed density that nobody really does. But then I'm also trying to do, I'm also trying to do, nostalgia stuff that we used to do back in the 90s you know what i mean with the wiper fluid i mean that's funny <laughs> and then i'm trying to do it you know trying to do it with the cheap parts you know like we didn't have technology back then so we had to you know raise fuel pressure and timing and you know what i'm saying um 27 hoosiers quick time pro what's your 60 foot right now dominic vortex Super FMU was totally adjustable. Yep. I'm trying to do it, but like I'm telling you, I'm trying to do it with what the, the kit came with, if you remember. Like the kit, I don't think the kit was even adjustable back in the 90s. I think that's kind of something newish, isn't it? Something 10 years later type shit. David Crow, my suspension is UPR K member, front end with QA1 coilovers with front and rear sway bars. That's pretty good. Like I said last week, I can buy whatever the hell I want, but I like playing. That's what I'm saying. I'm doing this to dad's car for a nostalgia thing. Like I'm going to go fast in my dad's car, which is literally all my car parts and just have fun with it. That's not a bad 60 foot. If, definitely, if you cut a 145, you're, 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 you'll be in. You'll be you'll be close to the the 990s. So, you know, Project Hot Wheels. I had the opportunity to get that back from Sean, the guy who bought the car. It was crazy. He was gonna he was gonna sell it back to me, but there's nothing good that can come from me getting Hot Wheels again. <laughs> you know? Nah, you let, let her go. That's it. It's like a good girlfriend that you knew you should have just been like, you know what? I should have married that woman, but I didn't. I got a black car that's sitting over here that's super jealous. I got a white car that I just resurrected, literally. So I got enough to do. Plus dad's car. I didn't expect I didn't expect to actually do all this to my dad's car anyways, but you know, I had been waiting on parts for so long that I had to do some sort of vlogging with something. So we had all these parts laying around, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just mess with the blue car while we wait. This is the first time I caught you live chat. Do you have um I try to have it every week, Jeff. Usually I'll mention something in one of my videos during the week. I do, I do do a lot with my, my kids and stuff and 
you know, they're the most important thing in my life. So, you know, if it's a Sunday, I'm going to hang out with them. Then I'll let you, I'll let you guys know and, you know, it, I'll vlog or blog it or whatever. But I do try to live chat at least once a week. Try. Think anti-robot. Yes. What shocks are you running? At least run. So you got, you got double adjustables. You said. <laughs> Joey. What's up, Joey? So, anyway, we're getting close. We're getting close with the white car. So, Justin, what you got going on with this coupe? I see he's in the channel. I know some of these guys in the channel. You're sub, sub to your channel. Hotter than shit down there, boy. Woo! What was it, like 110? Question for my 93 Fox bag, Jeffrey. I want a 351 base stroker. What is more reliable, 408 or 427? It will be free car going to car shows, maybe once in a blue moon, a track, maybe. 408, baby. 408. Jay Dobbins, it's a uh, it's the Sonic Blue Pearl color, uh, 0304 Cobra, or not Cobra, but 0304 color. What's what's he want for Hot Wheels? I think he's. I don't even know. I we never even got into it. But I don't think I don't think he would sell it. I just told him that I, I thought it would have been a really cool vlog to take Hot Wheels down and and meet Brutal and you know and, and Andrew and maybe take it. I don't know. Meet some of the other guys we always watch because I think that and the Cobra would be dope or even the Nitrous thing. I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just I'm just saying. You know, because Hot Wheels is kind of close to all those guys, you know. It would have been really cool. Just the collaboration type thing. But, you know, I mean, a lot of, a lot of things go into that. You have any Neo Mustang merch? Uh, I have a Teespring account. I've actually had a store, a Teespring store for a year. And I designed some shirts on there. It's like the logo from my uh, intro. But, I mean, I think you just look up Neo Mustangs and it's on Teespring. I don't even know. Um, I, I had it set up because I, I know that you get to 10,000. Once you get to 10,000 subscribers, I think you can make a merch shelf or something. I don't know. Any experience with a new Holly kit? Not yet. Going back and forth between Mega Squirt and Holly. Holly's a definitely a good, good hit, Matt. That's where I'm going to be headed. I'm probably going to do it with the white car. Um, white car, basically it was perfect scenario because white car basically got a motor. It's going to be like my race stick shift car, sort of like go crazy with. And then the black car is going to be like my daily driver. Again, if you guys remember the videos of my daily driver, I, I mean, a lot of my black cars videos came from stuff like that. Yes. So what we were going to do was we were going to coyote swap the white car. But the white car has already got all these baller parts that I was going to put in Hobo 5.0, but it ended up getting the, the Windsor, the 10, 410 Windsors. So we decided, I'm pretty sure that it would be way more epic to stick the Coyote in the black car because everybody loves the black car. I love the black car. So we're going to do the, we're going to do the, come on. We're going to do the 363 in the black car, get it ready, make some power, have some fun with it. And then we're going to sell the Coyotes or we're going to sell the 363 for the winner because somebody's going to want the engine. We're just going to be breaking it in. So it'll be perfect. And then we're going to get rid of the TKO faceplate that's behind it. So we'll be able to fund quite a bit of my Coyote swap for the car. If someone gave you 10K to get a bone stock 5.0, what would you go? If someone gave you 10K, you got a bone stock 5.0, what would you go? What do you, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what I what you mean, brother. Oh, engine-wise? If someone gave me 10,000, I'm sorry. What would I put in it if someone gave me 10 grand to do it? Uh, definitely would be probably 
there's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of things you can do with $10,000, but it's kind of like what you want to theme out. Like I built my channel around going fast for cheap, which we did with the black car. We did with, we did it with project hot wheels. We did it with the, the ultra blue two-tone car. Uh, me, you know, me and cousin Paul, wherever he's at, he's in here somewhere. Um, you know, we've done go cheap forever. That's when we sparked the 363. I think if you were to give me 10 grand, I would definitely go coyote with turbo. It's that's a no brainer at, at this point, because you're going to spend $3,000 on a Holly kit, a good Holly kit. If I'm not mistaken, Justin, I mean, what'd you end up spending for that Terminator, that thing that you had? I mean, it's every bit of three or 4,000 for the, all the good, with all the additions. And then you buy the, the the coyote, and then you buy the you know the suspension stuff. I mean, I'm talking about with like all the outputs, like the the, the bells and whistles. I think it's two grand, twenty five hundred, but I think the coyote thing is like three three plus. Dominic, what what do you think about TKO six hundred faceplate? Think it gearing inside is a big difference from yes. The TKO six hundred is a good is a good faceplate. You got to match it with a good gear. Well, I'm talking about the coyote one. Isn't the coyote coyote one like uh, three grand? So if you was the guy, if you had ten grand, the coyote swap, you know, the, a second gen is three k. The you know you got the K member, you got to get the bell housing and stuff like that. I mean, then you got to think about fuel management. I mean, I guess you could run them with the stock wiring harness, but I mean, that's what I would probably do. If I install a four fifty four big block. Would that mean my car was built for tough and Chevy parts asking for Mike Welzer? Don't bring that here. Don't bring that here, Mike. Mike J, cheapest Holly Terminator Coyote I was found was cheapest Holly Terminator I found was 20. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure the the Coyote one is, is up there. But that's where we're at. When I get rid of my 363, yeah, I would go with the TKO 600, Dominic. But when I get done with my 363 and sell my faceplate, actually, there's a really custom turbo kit that's built specifically for that 363 and 8.2 deck motor. So I should be able to have plenty of money to do the Coyote swap and turbo it and fuel system it in the black car. No, nah, it's going to be stick shift, Justin. You know me. No AODs over here. <laughs> here it comes. Does Holly Coyote need control pack? I'm not sure yet. Have you guys ever used the guy from Fox Lake Motorsports for your heads? Very good. He's been around a while. Fox Lake, very good. I was just talking to my buddy Nate Embody about the 7.3 Godzilla. He's like, you should really be messing with that right now and vlogging it. And I'm like, no, yes, no. I got so many other things I want to do, man. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with that. That's so nice. That motor is so good. I agree, trunk back, Jim. I agree. <clears throat> Once the T5 lets loose, 470. You know, you could put, can't you put R7W stuff in an AOD case? A full push rod motor to make 400 plus is an easy 10K without boost. What 60s am I pulling, Dominic? In which car? Yes, the first 7.3 swap, do it. Man. <laughs> thoughts on an anderson n41 cam they're not bad cams not at all neo with weather like today here in the great lakes do you have hoodies ready to sell <laughs> i think i have them up on teespring uh hang on a second I, it's just, I don't know. It's
I don't even know if I have a link to it. Here, we'll try this. I think I did something with that site. I don't know. I had I set the site up and I set it up and like to get it ready for when I got to 10,000 subscribers or whatever. So oh, okay. I don't even know. I've never even ordered anything from there before. The 7.3 would be nice, but not a cheap swap. It's not a cheap swap at all. Like, I want to do the Coyote Turbo because it, you don't really have a – you don't really have a, uh, a turbo kit, drop-in turbo kit out there. So I'm supposed to be possibly getting my hands on one in the next few months. So – you're right, David. Ain't nothing cheap to swap. So, again, for some of you guys that was just joining me, we're about midstream. Make sure you guys go check out some of those other channels. I always do this every week. 5 Tussin, Justin91LX, Donnie B. I ain't seen him in a couple weeks. Um, you know, Brutal. Um, I'm always shouting uh, Caleb at Foxcast, Foxcast, but you guys are probably already there anyways, so. Jordan, I've seen people use the SN rear end on Fox body, but some people say that the axles are wider and I want disc brakes and five lugs. Should I just different axles? Leave it alone. The only reason why it's wider is because of the ABS. Actually, it does you a favor, to be honest, because the uh, Fox body wheel, wheel width, axle width is too short anyways. Old video question. It says full send on on three kit 59K. Yeah, that's my buddy. I just like Project Hot Wheels. What all was done to it? Second question, what happened to the blue and silver car? Blue and silver Mustang got put back to NA and was sold to a guy in Chicago who put a supercharger on it, who sold it to a guy in Washington who made it better, who the car is now in Canada. But it's supercharged. Hot Wheels is in Columbus, is owned by Sean, still beating the crap out of it, still fast as F. In the 59K miles, yeah, that's... That was a beautiful car that my buddy Randy owned. I don't know the prices on Teespring. I just put whatever the cheapest was that they told me to do. So like I said, anyways, Josh, as far as the axle width, putting an SN95 axle in your car and, and your Fox body is already doing you a favor because it's already bringing the width out to where it meets your wheels and it puts that wheel pretty much right on the edge of the fender lip. But if you're going to do the axle, you better make sure that you roll your fenders. Cause if there's one thing that Fox body suck at is fenders in the rear. Cause they're always, if you look at the sheet metal, literally it's pointing down. So if a tire gets anywhere close, it's going to chop it. So you want to roll your fenders, put your act, you know, you can put your axle in and make sure you put a, an adjustable proportioning valve on. Corey, scroll up. I listed it down the cam. Okay. Matsumi Revenge. I have an LX with an SN90 rear end, SN just fine, but I don't have tires. It might have to do with the offset. Jay Dobbins. Money to go 10s and be daily capable on three. If you already own the car, thoughts on an Anderson B31 cam. Let me tell you what about an Anderson B31 cam. Don't sleep on that cam. It's small, but don't sleep on that cam. If you go and look at my white cars, some of my white cars first videos over the past few years when it was first turboed, it had a monster 363 in it with this big turbo kit. Guess what cam it had in it? I got made fun of because I put a B31 cam in there because that's all I had at the time. And it made 780 wheel on a Mustang dyno for a while. 60s on a black car, what got in the back of 60s on black car, what you got in the back 
of car, what tires? I got three 15s. Cobra intake, GT40 heads, opinion on keeping stock cam. Keep stock cam, put the big rockers on the uh, on the heads. Make sure you change the springs. Absolutely. That's a good that's a good mod. If you don't want to change the cam yet. It's a pedestal mount head. So you can put a 17 rocker on there and gain. It'll be like 480 lift at that point. Make sure you put the uh, 65 millimeter throttle body on there you got with that intake. If you don't already have one, or you can go 72, but it doesn't really matter. I think GT40's opening is only set up for about a 65 or 70 anyway, 65. <clears throat> it has a 70. Neo got a video coming out soon, right? You talking about the bow spring video? I got to finish. I just finished the springs today. I didn't set the rockers yet. We getting cut off again? Okay. Yeah, we. Um, I haven't set the rockers again. Just a just a heads up. Last week we had an issue with our uh, with our live stream. So if it cuts off, don't freak out. You. I appreciate you guys, Jay. So I do have the valve springs all done. Um, I got to set the rockers. We're going to clean up the valve covers and we're going to put it back together. And then we're going to hit the dyno either tomorrow or Tuesday because we race on Wednesday, which you guys all know. So Pro Max heads are, I mean, you get what you pay for. Like Pro Max heads for me would be fine because I would go through them. You see what I mean? But they're, I seen somebody selling them on Facebook Marketplace the other day for like 200 bucks. 60 foots in your black car, what tires are you running in shocks? Okay, black car, I always cut low 140s, mid 130s with my black car. I had a ten, uh, uh, a strange single adjustable shock in, I, in, in half cut GT Springs. Nothing was special in my back, back of my black car. I mean, I did build a nice axle that was supported, but nothing was nothing special. I just bought a 347 block and, and on three kit. How much power should I make? Five hundred on eleven pounds. Four fifty on six about eight or nine. How much did it run? Okay. GT40 intake on a completely stock engine. Thoughts? Good, good upgrade. It's about 25 horsepower over stock. 20. GT40 intake flows very well. It'll be a, that's a good upgrade. One of the biggest restrictions are the intake, may, mainly the lower. What's up, Frank? So, yeah, mainly the lower. But the E7 heads don't help you either. I made some good power on Project Hot Wheels, though, with stock ass heads in those, in that restrictive little intake. Nothing was ported. I probably could have made a little bit more power, but man, you're talking some. Some serious time and effort to make all that porting work. You know what I mean? Ugh. So what else we got? I always wondered, is Neo Mustangs your full-time job? Yes. If not, what do you do for work and fund all your projects? Neo Mustangs. Corey, I run 14s and a quarter with GT40 intake and heads. You should be in the 12s, bro. What's that all about? Like, go check out my video with the blue and silver car. When it was NA, it was a full-weight GT car. 
I did flip the pistons and rebuild the engine, though. Didn't have – you know what? That had an E-cam in it, too. Take that back. I appreciate your stock build. Stuff you got me from building stockish build. Yeah, man. You break it, you break it, it's stock parts. What do we care? We just throw wrenches at it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Can tell him. Tell him. It probably has got an AOD in it. That's why he runs 14s. I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of the Madrona cycle. <laughs> I'm going to stop sleeping on your AOD, man. My bad. Neil, I'm getting tired of being picked on when I go to the cruise on my bone stock LX. I'm thinking of refreshing a 351 short block. And no. Put head studs in your motor. Buy a non-3 kit. Put it in. Get the right tune. Beat everybody on the, on the street. They won't be picking on you at the car show no more. Do exactly what I did with I, – I built Project Hot Wheels for a reason, to show you that a bone stock motor can make enough power. If it's tuned right, it can make enough power with just basic bolt-on mods, injectors, fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator, and in a complete on-3 kit, which that kit, that kit was garbage. I rebuilt that whole kit to make it work. It worked really good. I, I actually had to take two turbos to make one. They wasn't even balanced. So if you was to go with like a ceramic ball bearing, I mean, I'm telling you, make 400 wheel on a Fox body and pretty much not anybody at the car show is going to say they can beat you in the street. End of rant. Engine is primed 35 piece size, slow to the drill. Yeah, there you go. My last dyno section, I made 770 wheel with stock bottom and 351. See? Now, there's nothing wrong. I'm not sleeping on the 351 build. You know, because I did it. Justin did it. A number of people did it. But if you're worried about just getting picked on, you're trying to have a good time, you want to make some power, leave your bone stock motor alone, put a, put a little turbo kit on it, get the right tune that should be your number one mod or mega squirt or do something like that. And don't worry about the 351 for now because it's a it's not an easy conversion. It it is, but it's not. People say to get 93 Cobra to master cylinder to help with the brakes. I think you just I think you just gut the old one you have. I think you you, you pull out the guts and you run an adjustable proportioning valve. Like a lot of people don't know, but on a Fox body, if you look underneath of your passenger side hood hinge, there's a union. You can put your adjustable proportioning valve right there because that because that union goes to the back of the car. So you gut your stock per, uh, master proportioning valve. You gut it out and you plug it. You put the plug in instead of letting it have a plunger in there and you let it free flow. It makes sense? I will break 505 speeds before I ever go to automatic. I know what you're saying. Yes, there is. A, yep, there's a union on the passenger side. It was almost meant to be. Almost meant to be. Just get a Summit Racing proportioning valve, adjustable. Um, I think there's 10 complete circles in it, if I'm not mistaken, Justin. I usually go like a 70-30 bias. And bias means that I usually give 70 to the front and 30 to the back. And you can adjust that as you want. But you got to give an... On rear disc, you still got to give some pretty good fluid to the back or your calipers won't close. Drum is easy. It's like a big it's, – it's easy. Jay, what are you – my car is killing my battery. Any ideas? If your battery keeps getting killed, make sure that your sun, uh, your, your sun visor's light aren't staying on. Make sure your hatch light isn't staying on if your doors aren't closing correctly. Something, uh, your glove box light, a lot of those things will kill your car and you don't even know they're on. 
take out the fuses on one by one. How much power do the tires can an OEM 351 Windsor block handle? All of it. Probably to the wheels, 800, 900. We're about to find out. <laughs> White car about to get, about to get whooped. Well, not the car, but the motor. You got a video on changing an AC evaporator? I don't. I mean, I'm in Ohio, and if you go outside right now, you need a freaking sweater. My orange car has a stock 95 roller block, makes 625 wheel, 13 PSI. Can you can get another 5 PSI pump gas, but racing every weekend. The evaporator, you're talking about the, the one inside of the box with the heater core? Yeah, tell him, Paul. Check the headlight harness. <laughs> Me and cousin Paul just had to change that. It sucked. Could not figure it out. It's not. It's it's no different than changing your heater core because they're in the same location, Mo. To be honest with you, if you guys didn't know who Paul is in the chat, that's cousin Paul from the videos. He just doesn't have a really cool, I don't know where my chat's at. Is it down on you guys or it's to the side? Yeah, Foxcast, I think, did something with the evaporator. If you have a dead battery, you have a stock all in it. It's shorting and it's fire hazard. Got to check that. So this way, because I think my right is your left on the screen. I don't know. Or is it this way? <laughs> First one or the second one? So I... Where should I go for a four-weight rotating assembly? I think we got a K1. I think that's what we ordered from uh, me and Dave. I'll say, so my, my chat is down if you're watching on mobile. If you're watching on PC, which I don't think anybody even watches on PC anymore. I think I'm like the only guy. Um. Anyways. Eagle, yep. All right, Smitty, I'll see you. Thanks for joining us. We got about ten or fifteen minutes left. I don't know. Having a good, having a good chat, so we're good. So, any cheap lowering mods that you should suggest? Absolutely. Go in my videos and look for Got Stance. Justin, am I? Is my chat this way? But go in my videos, um, Jeff, and and look for the Got Stanced video. Brutal has the same video sort of, toward, I think, as well, and he talks just the same as I do about what you can do to lower your car in the stance. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I still race with stock GT Springs. My other lap? Yeah, there's a stance video for sure inside of my uh, video chat. Here, hold on. I will show you because I think I can do quick search. Yes. This is one of my older videos, so don't beat me up. I think Brutal's got one too, if I'm not mistaken. Have you ever heard about people using the four-cylinder rear springs? Yes, don't. Just use your GT one. When does a T4 flange become a choking point? I don't think it really does in the street. Chat is to your left. Okay. Are there any car shows you're attending this year? 
I was going to go to Caleb's Fox takeover, but I'm definitely going to be there next year. Um, I didn't have a proper, like I just bought a brand new 2020 F350, which you guys see in my videos. And I didn't have proper pr transportation to get there. You know, I didn't, plus I, my black car wasn't even ready yet. So next year I'll have everything ready to take. And I wanted to go to LMR's thing in Texas. I was talking to a guy about collaborating with that. There's a number of car shows that like out of state stuff that I wanted to actually attend. Like Foxtoberfest, is that even going on still? Isn't that a big one? Mustang week I was supposed to go to this week. Coming up, but they canceled it. Next week. I appreciate that, Ryan. I bought used one in Springs. What gear do you recommend for a Turbo Fox with a TK600? Street driven a lot, 373. Uh, if you track it a lot and street drive it, 355. Yeah, that's terrible. Man, we didn't get to do anything. Like, I really want to collaborate with some of the other, like, our genre of YouTube stuff isn't like music and fitness and, and, and video gaming. I mean, my subscriptions are coming slow, and they just, that's just the way YouTube is. It, it just, it throttles you. You know, and I really like to do some cool collaborations with some of the other guys that have some some channels. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's what people like to see. It's a, it's a community. You know what I mean? I live stream because it's a community. We get to talk about Fox Body stuff. I'm not interested in talking about anything else. You know what I mean? I live this. This is my job I do every day. I enjoy talking about it. Matter of fact, I just went a parts pick last night till like 10, 8, 10 p.m. Junior Juvie, yes, big talk though, yeah. Everything is canceled, I know. I'm going to have all my cars done and nothing I can go to. What's up, Phil? Neo, you should comment on the lack of available parts right now. You're right. Everyone check out Bloodbath Racing, Big Inch, Big Turbo, SBF. Corey Reeves, GT40 or P-Heads? Doesn't matter. They both rock. And there's always been a a fight between which head was better than the other. I have turboed both of them. I have NA'd both of those heads, and they both are pretty much the same. I made more power on P heads than I did with iron heads. Three bars. But again, there's a lot of other factors involved with like the engine build. Like I flipped the pistons and it was a brand new motor when I had the P heads, whereas the GT 43 bar heads, it was on 135,000 mile motor, the original motor, which I still own. That sits in my shop split right down the middle. I just want to thank you for your videos and the different types of wiring harnesses. That's why I did that video. It's going to be there forever for all you guys to have that information in case you ever need it. When I order my turbo kit, what should I get for add ons? Nothing. Send it. You'll be perfectly fine with what you get. I would run with at least 60 pound injectors though. What is your official stance on nitrous? <laughs> nitrous, I like the party, man. My buddy likes the party with nitrous. Mustang Mike is a nitrous freak. He loves it. Midwest Fox Fest is still a go in Nebraska. Can't go to that one. I got a football game that day. I'm coaching. Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'm not sure if it's still going on. First of October, Ford Fest. Do you come across nice condition Mustangs? I'm in Ohio, so not often. I mean, if I get a good body, like I made a video on where they all rust at, so I know exactly where to look. If I deem the car really good condition, I'll save it. Yes, thanks again for the wiring harness video. You're welcome, Broken. Injector size with GT40 intake and heads. Is it boosted or just NA? Ryan Wells, show us how much spray a stock bottom end will take. Dude, I did, and I didn't break nothing. We, uh, the black, my black coupe. 
The only reason why I still don't have that black coupe right now and it ain't running eights is because that black coupe's torque boxes were rotten from the inside out. And it's pillars. I mean, the car wasn't rotted, but it was rotting in bad places. That's the reason why we gave up on that car. Love the content. Keep up the good videos. Thanks, Levi. Or is that Levy's thing? NA GT40 heads intake. Injector size, 19s. That's just weight reduction. Come on, bro. Mike was Mike was spraying. The reason why I bring up the coupe was Mike was spraying. I don't know. I wish he was here. Cousin Paul, what was he spraying? 200 or 250 at that stock bottom end we had? We put a turbo on afterwards because we didn't even blow the motor up. Well, we sprayed the crap out of it. Now, he was running 1020s, 10 teens. I don't remember. Bottles are for babies. When the bottle is empty, the fun is over. <laughs> That's a good one, Jay. That's what I thought. I thought it was 200. We were going to spray it with 250, 300 just to see if it split, but Bud's eye pass. So anyways, we got about five more minutes left. If y'all want to hit me some questions you need some help with, I'm on Instagram at Neo Mustangs. I'm on Facebook with, I think it's Neo Mustangs dot restoration. I don't even remember. It's, it's what it is. Um, how fast do you think you're going to run with the 351 turbo setup? Man, let's get back into the nines and then I'll call it. I'll know what I'll have in it. Baby steps. Did you admit, did you, did, do you emission delete all your street cars? Yes. We don't need to run emissions here in Ohio. And I know that's not the same in California and Florida. And I know it's not fair. It really isn't. But isn't there an exemption in those states where you can get rid of, get, you don't have to run that smog? Um, Mo, we're going to probably do the coupe over the winter. You're talking about Hobo 50, the one I pointed at this last video. You should see where that car is coming from, guys. You want to talk about me being a hardcore Fox body lover? Wait till you see what I'm doing to this car. Like nine out of ten other guys, that's a parts car. You'll see. I'm saving that. Is anyone else a speedometer? There's no smog in Canada where I'm from. Deleting emissions makes taking shit in and out of the engine bay for mods a lot simpler. Come on with the homo 50, man. That's not fair. So in your opinion, what do you think causes the splitting of 50 blocks? The crank. Number two, main cap. End of story. The crank, the crank uh, walks and flexes, pops the, pops the cap, everything else goes to hell. It's happened three times on me. Same crack, same spots. Not familiar with one, but small. Okay, I want to see it. You want to see what? My, my block? Will I split them? No, you can't do exemption, sadly, but I just ordered the smog pump delete on eBay, and they... I don't understand why smog and emission regulations still require cars that were barely in the carb CARB. It doesn't make any sense because that stuff wasn't even engineered right. Even with a new smog system, you have to completely choke your car just to get the smog to pass nowadays. I thought there was an exemption. You can't do the exam. Okay. I get it. What size turbo is good for the street? 76. It's the same as a dark. It's, uh, yep. Damn straight, bro. 
It doesn't make any sense on all these laws with, 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 uh, would you ever mess with an Ella swap? Nope. Sorry. I don't hate on them, but that's not my thing. I'm a car guy, just like everybody else is. And if you want to put a Chevy motor in your car, it's still a Mustang to me, but good luck. I run all smog stuff with an AOD. Of course you do. With the AC on, right? At 10 degrees. Neo isn't in cross <laughs> No. Never, never LS swap. I'm not saying LS isn't a good motor, and I'll, end up, I'll stop talking about it, but it's just not meant to be in a Mustang for me. Like, it's just not something I'm interested in doing. Is that good up to 400 inches then, Phil? You guys are brutal, man. Chevy, Chevy consistently have it. Recall dials the engineering. If I wanted 440 cubic inch, I'd use a Mopar. Noted. <laughs> Small block floor, push rod for life. I started talking about coyotes and everybody wanted to be like, it was like pitchforks and, and torches outside my door. I'm like, wait a minute. Coyote's a, a really good motor. They're like small stock bottom end. Stock bottom end. I'm like, I get it. It's what you guys want to see. I'm not going, I'm never giving up on stock bottom end stuff. My dad's car is going to be with me forever. So that's going to always be a stock bottom end. I'm going to replicate with my dad's car what I did with Hot Wheels. And, it's, and then we're never getting rid of it. So then Hobo 50, you know, we got some plans for that. We talked about a couple live streams ago. Here goes the guys who don't even have cars talking in respect. I appreciate that, Keith. You know what? Like I was telling you, like I got some of my closest friends that have LS swaps in stuff. That's all I'm going to tell you. And it's, it's just their thing. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with it. LS is a really good motor, you know, but so isn't a 351 and so isn't a 7.3 and so isn't a coyote of all three generations. So there's a lot of good motors out there. My stock bottom end 32 went 10s with AC Whew. moving. My code is great and all, but like you said, small Mach Ford is so much cheaper. That's why I did it. Excuse me. Anyways, got about five minutes left, four minutes left, whatever. Your dad's car, do you need the FMU if you run a big pump and big injectors? Yes. No. You don't use FMU when you have injectors in a tune. Have the whole world's slowest Fox body. My force learner does 0 to 60 in 27 seconds flat. I think I can sleep and wake up by then. I'm just kidding. Is LS is the only reason you recommend going stock 302, 351 is because of the swap itself? No. It's just you can make good power and go fast with a stock motor, a 302. All of Project Hot Wheels build is the reason why I made the video of me building the motor and me building the car with a T5 that literally had chips in the gears. You can go fast if you tune the car right. Like you can run tents. Look at Tony Conley, a perfect example. Good friend of mine with the strawberry red car or the medium red two-tone car that it's in my videos. 1080s, 1070s, that car's got 1050s in it. And all it is is a stock bottom end GT40 intake heads and an on three kit. Yeah, I know. Hey, when you're having good conversation, you just keep rolling, right? It's the flow. But anyways, yeah. It is about time for me to call it any quits. 
But anyways, we do have the Vow Spring video that's probably going to come out this week. So that one you guys have been looking for, I hope it doesn't suck. Um, we're going to go to the track and hopefully run in the 11s, maybe even tickle getting the white car started. Well, I have to go to the down stop, or the dyno shop and do some do some fabrication on the charge pipe and the down pipe. So we're getting really, really close to that car, and I'm really excited. We'll get the first startup video. We'll get a couple Easter egg videos, and we'll keep rocking. But anyways, make sure you guys go to the uh, – check out Justin's channel. He's right here somewhere. Justin91LX. He's got a coupe he's building right now. I'm bringing back his car. This car got in an accident, so kudos to him for being safe. Um, go check out Brutal's, uh, you know, go check out Brutal's uh, channel. Five O Tussin, Donnie B, Project Stock Bottom End. He's on here now. So I appreciate everybody watching. I look forward to talking to you guys and seeing you guys in the video this week. Have a good weekend.